Well, according to the Department of uh, Peacekeeping, they are actually doing quite a lot. They've set up roadblocks on all the major uh, thoroughfares into Goma, which, of course, is the key city uh, in the Kivus. Uh, they've also uh, been using UN helicopters to bombard M23 forces, which are largely made up of uh, rebelling uh, army, of, army people from the Congolese army and also uh, thought to be uh, Tutsi loyalists as well. Uh, and they are also supporting the local population as well. But that hasn't stopped uh, criticism uh, in outlying areas of UN patrols taking uh, defensive positions back into some of their barracks and also a mass exodus of, of hundreds, uh, over 100,000 uh, people uh, in the area who are scared about the advance. So uh, basically the, the UN says that they have enough uh, firepower and they are going to be supporting uh, the Congolese army and there are reports uh, of the last couple of hours of M23 positions actually moving back away from there but we'll have to wait and see but remember just over uh, four years ago uh, Goma uh, suffered similar attacks and, and there was a huge loss of life. Nathan, we're also hearing, of course, these ongoing accusations as well that uh, neighbouring Rwanda is supporting these rebels. Presumably that's adding to the tension there. Yeah, very much so. And the UN brought that up. Uh, it's been denied in Kigali. Um, uh, there, but reports on the ground from the UN say that M23 are very well armed. They have different uniforms um, and that they have uh, very, very um, strong weapons and also uh, very good military tactics. They're using night raids, uh, that sort of thing, and they wonder where the expertise is coming from. Uh, I can tell you Uganda, who is basically heading uh, the conference of the Great Lakes region at the moment, is called an emergency meeting of that 11-member body uh, to try and work out some sort of political solution in terms of uh, all the neighbouring countries in the region. Of course, this comes ahead of the AU summit as well. So th there is a lot of pressure in Kigali and, uh, on Kigali, and Kigali is denying any involvement right now.